welcome to the channel and this is the first of a series of tip tutorials for uh, Stranded Deep which I've been playing now for a few weeks um, right so let's get started tip one always have lots of spears handy now you never know when a shark's going to appear or you need to go fishing so always have your spears in a pile ready to attack that toothy beast Spears are great because they're cheap and you can make them have a stick and after you've killed whatever it is you can get your spear back. So here's me throwing spears at a shark. Takes a while, seven or eight spears but eventually you know you've killed it because it pops up like a cork well a cork with spears sticking out of it right so the other good thing about spears is in, even if you're in the middle of a fight with a shark you can go and quickly make some more spears out of some sticks and then you can run back to where you were fighting the shark you can quickly doing a quick craft throw together some more spears and away you go again tip two make sure you kill sharks from a high or hidden position so it's always better to get a bit of height on these creatures or if you're like in a boat or something looking at a shipwreck um, you can just find somewhere kind of under the cabin or down the side there to fire your spears at the shark so you can just hide there you can see I'm hiding behind a piece of seaweed and then usually do a runner to the shore and you will see then that you're also in a higher position and you can shoot down onto the shark there we go right the only thing is when you're doing that from a shipwreck is that you've got to come to the top for some air and what can happen is you get bitten so it's not too bad the first time but you can get another couple of spears in there but eventually you'll have to go up for air again and this can happen sometimes get a breather and then you get grabbed but fortunately that was the last thing that that shark was ever going to bite and because it made me bleed I thought I'd kick it around on the beach a little bit. Tip three for hunting is to hunt cod. Why is that? Because of all the fish you get, it's the fish that with little effort gives you the most amount of meat. So from one cod, you can get two medium sized pieces of meat which will keep you going maybe a whole day so what I do is with one spear just go out past the reef down to where the drop off is and you'll find plenty of cod around there you can tell them because they swim kind of funny so you can spot them from a distance be careful of the lionfish and the sea snakes because they're all over the place down there 
So what I usually do is fish for maybe 10 minutes, get a few cod and then take them back to smoke them. This is another trick that I use, just looking, sitting there looking down until you spot your cod and then go after it. That means you're not wasting a lot of breath. Easy enough. And who doesn't like cod and chips? So that was a good cod fishing session. Make sure you skin them before you try eating them. And then onto the smoker. Easy as that. Tip four, kill snakes as soon as possible. I always try and do this from a a high point as well so I can look down on them if possible. The thing is about these snakes they're really hard to spot. Now what I'd done here I'd found one and it already stuck a spear in it which is good because it looks a bit like a flagpole uh, so you can follow it around quite easily but even so it is hard to spot especially you can see here it's, it's, it's uh, like late evening it's hard to see but there is a snake there with a spear, a spear sticking out of it so just good and just as I stuck that in there my smoke fish was ready to eat so uh, snake and cod with my chips tonight don't waste any meat take it back Looks like a rubber thing. Skin it and eat it. Oh, gross. On the campfire. Right, the other thing is about snakes is they're not always hiding the grass. You can see one here, it was just out there on the beach sunbathing. So again, I've already stuck one spear in it, went back to get another one, and then gave it a second one. Two, kill, two spears killed these things, so happy days. And tip five, skin the boar before picking them up. This is because there's a glitch for the PS4. I don't know if it's the same on the PC. I imagine that's been fixed with some update. But these boar run around the same islands that you get the snakes on. So I think you need to get it. I think you need to hit them with like four spears, and they will run off and hide, and then they'll run past you. And then they're quite the way they move is quite difficult to to so you can hit them. Um, so what often happens is they'll get away and then you'll see them the next day and then you can carry on here for example it's uh, it's just come along with a friend so he can have a spear as well and I don't know if this is a glitch as well but they have a ten tendency to run off and then go into the water uh, so I don't know some kind of aquatic pig or something uh, but they'll go down there and you can see it's hiding there and you can f sometimes finish it off in the water. But the tip that I've got for you is, is when you can see that the boar has been killed, don't pick it up and, and carry it because it will do this crazy somersault thing and it will just fly out of your hands and usually fly out to sea and you won't see it again. So what I do is skin it where it dies and then um, it avoids that sort of problem. This is its pal, tracked it down and 
uh, was able to um, get the better of it. So, yeah. Don't forget when you've finished skinning the animal is get your spears back because you will be using them for something else. So I hope that was useful. There will be some more videos in this series of tips. Uh, enjoy Stranded Deep and I'll see you next time.